Good morning, fam. Welcome to, believe it or not, a weekday vlog, okay? It is Thursday, October 15th, and I was like, yo, why the frick not? It's a rest day, we got a normal work day, I gotta go to the grocery store, just, I don't know, normal things planned, but I figured, you know what, let's do this thing, because I'm trying to get back on my video game. So, I have not posted the last vlog yet in my time, so I don't really know what your response is, so I can't really speak to that yet, but maybe if later in this video, I plan on posting it today in my time. So um, anyways, if you haven't watched that yet, go watch it, you get to meet the mans. Um, so I wanted to show you my new breakfast and just kind of my morning routine to kick things off here. So this is the current breakfast. I make some egg whites. It looks like a shit ton, but it's just, it's just the angle. You know, the egg whites are out angling uh, everything else. So egg whites, uh, sugar-free ketchup, English muffin, Miracle Whip. There's a whole egg and then a slice of Velveeta, <laughs> Velveeta. Velveeta cheese there. So that is the new breakfast vibe. Um, the man's brought me Starbucks this morning because he freaking rocks. And I will show you my order here. So venti cold brew, light ice, two pumps pumpkin, one pump sugar-free vanilla, light cream, two sweet and lows. This is the vibe. I don't think they put cream in there. So I'll probably add a little bit myself uh, once I like drink a little bit. Um, but I think that's like my perfect combination of the syrups because I was doing one pump of pumpkin, two pump sugar-free vanilla. Not pumpkin-y enough, so we switched those around. Two pumpkin, one sugar-free vanilla. And then, of course, I have my Opti Greens here for digestion and gut health and Micro Factor for all my vitamins and minerals. Basic needs covered. Got my water here. Now, morning routine. Here we have it, okay? I list out, if, you, if I was tracking macros, I'd put them right there. Exercise cardio so it is a rest day i just have myself on 10k steps contract my water morning routine i have not filled out yet but intentions affirmations gratitude future pacing got my whole day schedule right here i don't have, have too many time bound things today which is nice i i don't particularly like time bound things but yeah then i have to-do list here so check-ins write email i need to post a vlog i need to, i need to finish doing this so that is the morning routine and uh, this is the book that I'm currently reading. It's taking me a little bit to get through it. Um, it's by John Asaraf. He was, I found him through a podcast on, or he was with Ed Milet. Um, so this book is called Inner Size. Obviously you can read New Science, Unlock Your Brain's Hidden Power. Um, yeah, I'm a little over halfway through. I like it. It's stuff I already know. So if you're like, if you wanna learn like new basic brain psychology stuff, like how to train your brain, I would highly recommend reading this. Again, it's nothing new to me. And honestly, it's kind of sloppily edited, which translates to a lack of intelligence for me. But I know that's not true. I know it's just my Enneagram one coming out. And John is actually super freaking smart. Um, you should check out his Instagram. He's a, he's a straight shooter. So anyways, I like him. I do like the book. And it's just taking me a little bit to get through it. So that is the morning vibe. And yeah, I'm gonna eat this. Do my morning routine, read my book and move along to client check-ins. So that's what I have for now and I will catch up with you in a bit. Also update, so I'm wearing my new balance shorts. I really like these shorts. You guys know I have a pink pair and a gray pair but that sizing was a little off from the Oasis collection. So I got mediums but they fit more like smalls. This is like the new sizing. These are mediums and I just really like how flowy they are and how loose I feel a lot better in these. Um, but anyway, so obviously like white top is from Forever 21 and black balance shorts and a uh, little, little X over here. <laughs> what do we have? Just walk up here and I'm like, I think we're matching today. <laughs> Neither of us are changing. We go, not changing. No. Nope. <laughs> so there's that. Thanks, Balance Athletica. Sponsor us, please. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> we are going to pull cards. I know we're doing light sears, so I just, I just yeah. got light sears out. Um, so you guys know the morning routine. And... Yeah, that's that. So I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Okay. okay. Well, no. it's gonna stay down there. It's gonna think about what it did to me. I got you, little buddy. So Lex and I just had a very exciting business call. How excited are we? Really fucking excited. Yo, we're not gonna tell you what it is, but it's something we've been thinking about for a while and <sighs> big shit is coming. I know we always say that, but you guys will know eventually. So yeah. There, there is just always big shit coming, but it's like the really big shit hasn't come yet. I'm fucking lit. 
I'm fucking lit. So anyways, that's the update. I'm gonna finish up check-ins now, and then I will catch up with you here in a bit. Yo dudes, okay, so I figured I'd talk to you in the car because I never talk to you in here anymore. Except last video, I talked to you in here a lot. But anyway, I have finished client check-ins, finished messages. I uploaded my vlog. I wrote the weekly newsletter for alignment. I'm feeling productive. And yeah, I'm gonna go to the store now. Um, but otherwise, I'm gonna do that, come home, and I'm gonna go on a little walkie walk like I used to do during quarantine, during the month of June actually for 30 for the kids um, because it's a rest day. But if you watched my last video, you know that I have put myself on the 10K steps a day uh, train and that's going well. I enjoy it. I don't, uh, I don't know. I'm not like psycho about it. If I only get like 8,000, that's only happened a couple days where I just like was busy, had other shit to do. Um, just had like time bound shit all day. Usually Mondays and Tuesdays are really busy for me because I have normal work stuff. And then Monday nights we have staff Zoom calls. Tuesday nights we have client Zoom calls. So those days I'll usually, I'll get like 8,000 or something, but not a big deal. Um, and I just really like the movement. So I feel myself kind of tightening up, but again, nothing crazy. No, uh, no tracking, no crazy dieting phase or anything like that. Um, I think if you watched my last video, you already know this, but probably going to save that dieting phase, like the next dieting phase for the beginning of next year and that way we can just enjoy the holidays and live our best but yeah just wanted to give you a little update film somewhere elsewhere than the kitchen because <laughs> i feel like that's like my entire vlogs always and i kind of like talking in the car so here we are that's the update and i will show you a grocery haul when i get home okay so i wasn't going to talk to you till i got home but i found something at the grocery store that i've actually been tagged in on Instagram to try this and I so I was gonna get Starbucks today because there's a new drive-in Starbucks right next to my Ralph's and I actually hit up that Starbucks the first day it opened I didn't even realize but I drove through and they're like oh yeah today's our first day and I was like classic but the man's brought me Starbucks this morning and I was like I can't be doing Starbucks twice in one day more so from like a caffeine standpoint, but I'm like on my bullshit because this is a caffeine drink. So I got the sparkling ice plus caffeine black raspberry, which I love the sparkling ice drinks themselves uh, because first of all, they're good. But also when I took apple cider vinegar every morning, that's what I would mix it with. I don't take it anymore because I just fucking hate it. I don't want to take it anymore. So I stopped, okay? <laughs> Balance, I don't know. But this is... Um, zero calories. Well, it says five calories, but whatever, zero macros and has antioxidants, has vitamin A, 70 milligrams of caffeine per can. Okay. That's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So this is like not comparable to an energy drink. An energy drink will usually have 200 to 300. If it's a bang, it's 300. If it's a monster, I think it's 200 or between 150 and 200. I'm actually not sure. But I know bangs are more potent. And the Celsius drinks, the Celsius heat has 300 and then the little Celsius drinks have 200. So anyways, this has like the equivalent of a cup of coffee, which from a caffeine standpoint, if I got another Starbucks today, I would have gotten another venti cold brew because we go big or we go home. Okay, I can't be doing grande. And ain't nobody doing talls, okay? It's venti or bust or trenta, but I never get caffeinated trentas. If I get a trenta, it's like a secret, like extra large size at Starbucks. If you didn't know, I get um, trenta passion fruit tea, but I haven't gotten that in a while. So anyways, we're gonna taste this. T t we're gonna taste this. I also got complimented on my nails so much in the last like week or so. I'm very proud of them. That's my new quarantine skill. That's what I've been telling everybody. And if you keep up with my channel, you know that I have been doing them myself for months now. It actually saves a lot of money and it's, it's a creative outlet for me. I'm not going to be, I can't be like Paige Riley, like painting them with designs and looking all cute and shit, but I really, really love what these do for me. So anyways, okay. We love black raspberry. Okay. All right. First thought, this tastes like Mike's Hard Lemonade. <laughs> who the frick, who else drank Mike's Hard um, long ago when you were very much of age to drink alcohol? <laughs> who else? That was my favorite flavor was like the black cherry or black raspberry, whatever it was. That was my first thought. Second thought, it's good. It's good as fuck. This is amazing. Wow. What a nice treat. It was in the refrigerator section, so like it's already cold. Mm. Yeah, 
big fan. That is a nice little pick me up. So, <sighs> you know me and my drinks. I just love the little drinks, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the update for now. So again, I'll show you the grocery haul when we get home, but between now and then, we going five. Okay, we're back home. We're gonna do random grocery haul. This is not like everything I eat, but we restocked on a few things. So, picked up some chicken tenders. I'll probably freeze one of these, but they were buy one, get one free with card. And they don't expire for like seven days. I was like, I don't know why this is a hot deal right now, but we're gonna get two of them, cause why the frick not? Um, got some shredded hash browns, cause I like these as a carb source. I've been on my hash brown game lately. I also randomly just, I got these peas a couple weeks ago and I just, they do it for me. Okay, I like peas. I know most people, I feel like most people don't, I don't freaking know, but it's just a nice switch up from the normal asparagi, which we restocked on. And also got some cauliflower, cauliflower, cause Lex is gonna make Parmesan crusted cauliflower for our recipe ebook. Um, got some English muffins. I always get the ones that actually don't have a lot of fiber because I'm not trying to fuck up my stomach. So these only have one gram of fiber, <laughs> but yeah, there's that. Restocked on my Velveeta slices. Those go on my breakfast sandwiches. Got some feta cheese because feta is life. Restocked on cookie butter. I like the Trader Joe's one better, but I just, ever since quarantine started, I haven't been visiting Joe as much. It's very sad, but. Joe is crowded. Joe is crowded, you know? <laughs> uh, Restocked on butter spray. This is just like what I use when I put seasoning on my meals in the middle of the day. Um, and then we got some of my new fave wine. It's not like top shelf or anything. Actually, it was almost top shelf, I think. But regardless, it's very affordable. It was like 10, 15 bucks. Um, Riesling, you guys know the vibe. But this one is called Relax. This is probably like, I don't know. I started drinking it a couple months ago. And it's just so nice. Because that's what I'm trying to do when I drink my Riesling is relax. Okay, so it, it fits the vibe. Um, and the last couple of things I got were body wash and deodorant. Yes, I use men's deodorant. I use Old Spice. Um, the reason is because men's deodorant smells nice and it's more powerful than women's, okay? We ain't trying to be stanking up in here. So that's the little haul um, for today. But I'm gonna get my Instagram post ready. I'm posting a back workout today. So I gotta get that all edited and put together. And then I'm gonna take a little walkie, but it's a good day. It feels so nice outside per usual and it just makes me so freaking happy. So yeah, I'll probably catch up with you later today. We're gonna FaceTime our friend Jess and catch up with her. She actually just won summer shredding. A lot of you guys probably follow her. And then our friend Tegan won summer shredding too. And Tegan's girlfriend, Deanna, who's our friend slash also an alignment coach, she won summer shredding last year. So it's just like, we know like all these people that win and do cool shit and work really hard. So anyway, that's the plan for the rest of the day. I'll let you know if anything interesting comes up, but otherwise I'll see you in the next clip. Yo, back from my walk and I just made my next meal. I timed it perfectly because I put rice in the rice cooker before I left. And then when I came back, it was ready. Like just, oh, I love jazzy rice, which is jasmine rice for anybody who does not understand that reference. But here is the meal. We got some jazzy rice beneath. Uh, chicken I already had prepped and asparagus that I just heated up on a pan. And then I went ahead and added some of this reduced fat feta, which honestly, I don't even know why I got reduced fat because it's three fat as opposed to like five for normal feta. So we'll see if this is good. I've never had this kind before. Um, there was like a dude in the way today when I was trying to find the feta that I usually get. And I was like, fuck it. I'm gonna just grab whatever I get. So that is the update for now. And I also forgot that I, in my rest day ambition at the beginning of every rest day, I'm like, wow, I'm going to do so much shit today. And then it just doesn't end up happening. But I have, a lot of clothes down there to, I don't know. I'm like sentimentally attached to some of them, but some of them I could just like get rid of. And then that whole dresser, I just sold a bunch of stuff on Poshmark like three months ago, dude. My dresser now is already full. Like my shorts need their own drawer and there is no other drawer. And I'm like, okay, so we'll probably be Poshmarking again. Um, honestly, I don't even remember where my Poshmark is. I will tell you. I will look it up for you because that's how much I care. All right, let's look it up. Okay, my Poshmark is at Melissa Jane E. So it looks like Melissa Jane with an extra E on the end. Um, and yeah, 
keep an eye on there because I don't ever even post anything on Instagram when I put stuff on Poshmark because the Poshmark people just snatch it up so fast. So yeah, I want to go through some stuff there and just figure out what the hell I'm doing with all those clothes, which like, it's so dope that like I am privileged enough to get like stuff from writer wear, right? And stuff from Fabletics and Free Spirit. And like one of my favorite parts about all of this that I do is being able to try different clothing companies. So when a company approaches, approaches me, um, if they, I always ask if they require their athletes or affiliates to be exclusive. And if they say yes, then I'm not going to do it. There's only a couple of companies that I would go exclusive for. Um, but otherwise, I just really like, uh, you know, trying out different brands and sharing the best of the best with you guys. And you know, I'm not going to work with a company unless like their stuff is good. So when I do share my codes with you, it's not like, oh my God, here's a discount code. Go buy all the shit so I get commission. Like, no, <laughs> it's just to share the best of the best with you. And if you ever use my codes, thank you so much. Tag me, DM me. I want to personally thank you because it means more than you freaking know. So anyway, I might do that. I might just chill until our FaceTime. We've got some time here, but that's the update. And yeah, I will catch up with you in a bit. Wow, my skin is very oily right now. <laughs> we, uh, it's that glow, right? But anyways, I am currently just, I don't, I don't know. Purging things, getting rid of things makes me feel good, but the act of actually getting rid of them is just so annoying. <laughs> so anyways, I'm just going through everything here and laying it all out before I even try to start dividing and conquering. But I have to tell you a story about my favorite pair of shorts that are no longer. Um, <laughs> so the first time I came to California, I actually went to LA on a volunteer trip and we went thrift shopping and I was like, oh my God, these are so cute. Like. These have been my favorite shorts for years. They fit better when I'm leaner, which like whatever, not a big deal. But look how cute, right? Like just classic thrifted shorts. They have served their purpose. So cute. But the other day I go to put them on and literally, so this was connected right here. Like this is a patch that I had one of my friend's moms um, put in there <laughs> because obviously we didn't want all that showing. But yeah, this was connected and it just psh, ripped open right there so now it's just full on like hello um so yeah <laughs> they have served their purpose they are done so cute but maybe i will find another pair i i honestly love thrift shopping i haven't gone in so freaking long so anyways we're gonna throw her away we're gonna say goodbye it's the end of an era, but it's okay because my glutes probably wouldn't fit in these anyway. So <laughs> anyway, there's that. Here's currently, I'm like halfway through my dresser. I've done those two and then like the rest of it is to be decided. But yeah, we're going to FaceTime <laughs> Jess here pretty soon. So I'm going to have a nice mess, but it's okay because I put it on my bed, which will make me go through it because I got to sleep in that bitch, you know? So anyway, there's that. And I'll probably give you a final update um, here in a couple hours or so. Well... It is now 7.30. I still have this giant ass pile of clothes on my bed. I don't know why I did that. But uh, Lex and I had a good FaceTime call with our friend Jess. We're like slap happy as shit. You should go check out the highlight on Lexi's Instagram. Actually, it's called Lex and Melindy or Melindy and Lex. It's our adventures. You know, we're a good time. We're a real good time. So anyways, it's the end of the day for me. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to self tan. I'm going to drink some wine. I'm going to chill with the mans. And... It's gonna be a good time. So I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. Congratulations to myself. Shout out to me, cause I did a weekday vlog, which has not happened in a long ass time. So you're welcome. Um, but no, seriously, if you watched until now, I am taking all my good vibes. I'm sending them your way. If you could give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell before you leave, that would be dope. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Oh.